Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to fill a pastry bag. If you wanna be really professional about it, you can pick up these disposable pastry bags at the local cake supply store. And the first thing you wanna do is get one of these plastic things, they're called couplers, and stick it into the bottom of the bag. You wanna press it all the way down firmly and then snip off the tip near where the coupler is, just like that. And then you take one of these, it's called a pastry tip, and if you're decorating cookies or cakes, you probably wanna get a three or a four. And you just place it right over the edge like that, and again, press firmly. Finally, we're gonna take a coupler ring and just slip it right over the edge, and you'll see some threading. Just screw it right in, it's so easy. Now that you have it in, you wanna fold the top down. Open it up so you have a cone and grab it at the bottom. Now take your spatula. Now you wanna put in about three-fourths to one cup of icing in the bag. And the reason for that is if you put too much in, it's a little bit unwieldy, it's hard to control. And same thing if you put in too little. Now the great thing about these bags, these disposable ones, is that you can mix up icing in all sorts of different colors and um, you can just have them all laid out. Whereas if you have regular pastry bags, you have to wash them, you know, and change them in and out. So this is great for if you have a crowd. Um, then you wanna push the icing down into the bottom of the tip and twist the top. And if you're uh, decorating, just you should see a line like that. But if you don't have a pastry bag, don't worry, because you can also use a quart size zip top plastic bag. Same thing as before, just don't put in any tips or couplers. Open the top, push it down, make a cone in one corner, and just fill it the same way. Now, an important thing to remember is that because royal icing dries out so quickly, the icing that you're not using you wanna be able to keep it moist so it doesn't get all crusty. And um, usually what I do is just uh, cover it with a damp towel, like this one. Now as for the Ziploc bag, you just wanna push the icing again right into the tip and twist the top. And here's where you have to be careful because if you cut too big, <laughs> you're gonna let too much icing out. So start small and make it bigger if you need to. So just cut a little bit. I find that a good size for me is what you wanna see when you squeeze a mustard bottle. Beautiful. And you won't get the same precision as with a pastry bag, but it's still, you know, it's a pretty good tip. And that's how you make royal icing. It's great for cookies, cakes, or gingerbread houses. Enjoy.